Hey guys, it's been a while because life has been a little bit crazy the past couple weeks, but here's going to be another video in my Nomad Sculpt Basics series. And today I'm going to go over how the tube tool works. And I know somebody had commented asking about how I make the tubes with the tapered edges and things like that. And I cannot for the life of me find where that comment came from. So hopefully whoever you are, you see this video and it is helpful to you. So I'm going to go over that and hopefully it helps y'all. Bye. All right. So as always, we start up with this basic sphere here. The tube tool is a really useful tool as long as you know how to make the best use of it. And honestly, it's one that I'm still learning about a little bit, but I have learned a lot more in recent months and it has been so helpful to me. So it is over here, this little squiggle line right there. So you're going to click on that. Go over here, make sure you hit on curve because if you do on view, it's going to let you still move around your object. It's not going to actually draw your tube for you. So do curve. And then make sure you don't touch the screen anymore because as soon as you touch the screen, once you hit curve, it's going to start drawing that tube for you. If you want to move your screen, go back to view. So you can do your curve and then you can make your shape. And see how it has all these little points here? That means these are all points that you can move and change after you have drawn your shape, which is great. And see, so you can even move it over here, all around super useful so you can really get in that exact shape and positioning you want with the tube tool which is awesome another great thing you can do with the tube tool that you'll see me do a lot with my sculpts is go up here click on the radius and you see these little orange dots here that is going to change the radius of your tube a lot of times if i'm doing dragon tails um, i will make you know one side thicker and the other side will taper down like this makes it super smooth taper for you and then if you want to click originally it just comes with a one radius and so it fixes the radius all the way around it's going to be the same size and then what you can also do is a third option whereas if you see all three of those little dots there then you get a custom radius for each dot of these dots that you have on here so that can be really useful sometimes if i'm doing a curved animal around an object, something like that, I will use the tube tool to get in my basic shape. And then I will go in and edit the different thicknesses, you know, with the animal's chest, neck, waist, all those kind of things to help get my basic shape in of that animal. And so this is really, really useful. And those are the main properties that I use with my tube tool. Up here, you can go and do post subdivision make it a smoother radius there what i tend to do more often though is i will actually validate that first with it kind of rough like this because that makes it easy to go in here and see how we have a really blunt edge there now grab my smooth tool and because we have fewer triangles here it makes it easier to smooth that out so i will smooth out those edges see we have these nice blobs now and then I will go in and subdivide that after, maybe voxel it and make sure we get all those edges smoothed out and distributed properly. And so that is the tube tool. This is super useful. And then you can go in and sculpt on top of your tube tool, just like normal. The main downside of using the tube tool is you cannot as effectively use the symmetry tool that you can use when you working when you're working on a basic shape because the tube specifically makes asymmetrical really organic shapes so i will tend to make you know my heads symmetrical things like that and have it really clean and then the body shapes like i said some of those more organic shaped animals i will use the tube tool and kind of work more manually around that shape to make everything even so that is how the tube tool works. Super useful, really fun, creative tool to use at your disposal. And hopefully that helps. Have fun. Bye.